Hey guys, this is Chris, Tabletop Sports Delaware, bringing you some baseball this Thursday evening. It is April 16th, 2020, and we are bringing you some Stratomatic 1966 National League matchup. The Pittsburgh Pirates are traveling to Dodger Stadium to take on the LA-9. Let's go over our starting lineups, and then we'll get some baseball underway. For the Pirates, leadoff center fielder Matty Alou. Uh, first baseman Don Clendenin batting second. Roberto Clemente out in right field batting third. Cleanup left fielder Willie Stargell. Bob Bailey on the hot corner batting fifth. Bill Mazeroski, second baseman batting sixth. Gene Alley shortstop batting seventh. Catcher Jim Paglaroni is batting eighth. He'll be catching the pitches coming in from Steve Blass starting for the Pirates and batting in the ninth position in the order. For the Dodgers, Mari Wills, shortstop leading off. Willie Davis, center fielder, batting second. Ron Fairley, right field, batting third. Cleanup is going to be Jim Lefevre, second baseman. Lou Johnson, he's in the fifth slot. He's left field. Wes Parker, batting sixth, playing first base. Johnny Roseborough, catcher, batting seventh. Junior John Kennedy, rather, the uh, hot corner man, batting eighth. And on the mound, starting for the Dodgers, is going to be Sandy Koufax. So let us go ahead and get this beautiful game started. We got Sandy Koufax. And the Pirates are set to go. Everything looks fine. Let's go ahead and do this some baseball. Matty Alou is set. Koufax set. He delivers 5-8. That's a strikeout to start things right there. Just like you would expect Sandy Koufax to do. Don Clendenin up. One away. Top of the first. Uh, pitch, 2-10, hard ground ball hit to shortstop. Field of Amari Wills gets it over to West Parker for out number two. Roberto Clemente comes up to the plate. Koufax gets the signs from Roseboro. Sets, delivers 5-7, and gets catches Clemente swinging up the knee cheese. Clemente is victim to Koufax. Strikes out two in the top of the first. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Dodgers are going to come up to the plate. Um, Wills, Willie Davis, and Ron Fairley do up in this inning. Yeah, I'll leave right there. That'll work. Steve Blass on the hill. A couple of warm-up pitches with Paglaroni. And he is set to go. Mari Wills steps out to the plate. Blass is set. Here's the windup. The pitch... Uh, 410, and then it'll be a hard ground ball hit to third base. That is going to be to Bob Bailey. Uh, four, three. That one gets through into left field for a single, so Wills is on base. Um, duh, Wills is going to steal second. Paglaroni takes a minus two on him. They're going to hold him. He's going anyway. Needs a 1 to 15, 13. Wills is at second. So runner in scoring position for the Dodgers. That's going to bring up Willie Davis. Steve Blass is set. Here's the pitch. It's going to be a 6-5, and that is a single. And uh, Wills is going to round third. He's headed for home. Makes it. So Willie Davis with the RBI single. Dodgers go up 1-0 in the bottom of the first. Man on first, no out. Steve Blass facing Ron Fairley. Here comes the pitch, 2-6, and that'll be a single for Fairley. Going to get Willie Davis around a second. Takes a few steps towards third. Ball's relayed back in from the outfield by Willie Stargell, and Fairley trots back into second base. So that is going to be two on, no out. Steve Blass facing Jim Lefevre. They'll wind up the pitch, 5-7, and Blass K's Lefevre strikes him out. Fastball high and tight. Lefevre did not think it was in there, but the ump said, nope, strike three. Lou Johnson, left fielder, now facing Steve Blass. Two on, one nothing game, bottom of the first. That's a 4-10. That's going to be a hard ground ball. Hit to third. Bailey again. And this one is going to get through into left field as well. And that is going to score Davis. Fairley's going to make it to third. Two nothing ball game. One out, Steve Blass now facing, come here, Wes Parker. 
Blast perhaps not the best choice for a starting pitcher. Who we got in here anyway? Bob Veal would have been a little better. It's quite all right. Blast has got it. Parker is set. Men at the corners. One out. Hoping for a ground ball to get out of this inning. Two. Five strikes. Parker out. So Blass and Koufax start with two strikeouts each in the first inning, but Blass has given up two runs. Johnny Roseboro. Here comes the pitch. Hard liner hit up the middle. Mazeroski's glove is all over it. He's lost a step in his age, but uh, he's still got it where it counts. However, the Dodgers do score two runs, 2 nothing. We go to the top of the second inning. And if I may be able to jot down one little bit of information real quick, we will continue. That is three, three, Davis is a two, Johnson is a two, Fairley is a two, Kennedy is a one, Koufax a two, Parker a one, Roseboro a two, Alouz a two, Stargell is a three, Clemente is a one, Alley is a two, Maz, I want to have this stuff handy, makes the game flow a little better, forgot to do this earlier, is a one, Bailey's I know is a four, Yuck, Clendenin a two, Blast a two, Paglaroni is a three. Very good. Alrighty. So here we go. Pirates set to go. Top of the second inning. Koufax back on the mound. Willie Stargell's going to lead this inning off. He'll be followed by Bob Bailey and Bill Mazeroski. Koufax is set. Stargell takes the pitch. Two, five, and that is a single in the center field. Willie Stargell is on base for the Pirates. Bob Bailey comes to the plate. Koufax with the pitch. Five, six, strikeout. Koufax is third. One away. Stargell on first. Bill Mazeroski. Here comes the pitch. Four, seven. That's a strikeout of Mazeroski. Four Ks so far by Koufax. Koufax does start with a K. Gene Alley shortstop. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. 5-6, another strikeout. Five of the first seven batters struck out by Sandy Koufax, and he is on fire to start this game. Stargell's base hit comes to not. We're going to go to the bottom of the second inning. Due up to face blast is John Kennedy, Koufax, and back to the top for Mari Wills. Blass is on the hill. A couple of warm-up throws with Paglaroni. And here we go. John Kennedy set to go. Here's the pitch. 4-7. And Blass issues him a walk. So Kennedy is on base. One on, no out. Two-run lead for the Dodgers. 2-0. Here in the bottom of the second, Koufax. Blass. Koufax is going to lay it down. And that is going to be a 5 uh, lays it down in front of the pitcher. Blast charges it. He gets it over to uh, Mazeroski covering. Kennedy's going to make it to second on the sacrifice bunt by Koufax. Uh, one out, Steve Blast facing Mari Wills. Runner on second. Here's the pitch to Wills. That's a 4-5 hard ground ball hit to second base. No chance to... Get Kennedy, no chance to check Kennedy. Kennedy's going to make it to third. And that's going to be Mazeroski to Clendenian for out number two. Runner on third, two outs. Going to bring Willie Davis to the plate. Dodgers looking to score another run. Blast looking to get out of an inning. Here we go, four or five hard ground ball. It's second base, Mazeroski again over to Clendenin. Out number three. No runs plated by the Dodgers. 2-0 ball game. We go to the top of the third. Uh, due up in this inning for the Pirates. Bottom of the order. Uh, Paglaroni, the catcher. Steve Blass. And back to the top for Matty Alou. Sandy Koufax is set to go. Jim Paglaroni. A couple of warm-up swings. Koufax gets the signs in from Roseboro. Here we go. Top of the third, 2-0 Dodgers. 5-6, another strikeout. That is six strikeouts in the first eight batters. Uh, Steve Blast to the plate. Koufax with the pitch. 
Two four hard ground ball hit on the left side, fielded cleanly over there by John Kennedy. Gets it over to West Parker for out number two. Takes us back to the top of the order for Matty Alou. He's got speed. He just needs to get on base. 342 batter in 66. Koufax with the pitch. 1 8, and that is a base hit on the right side for Matty Alou. Drops in in front of Fairley. He relays it back into Lefevre, and that is going to be man on first, two outs, 2 nothing Dodgers, top of the third. Don Clendenin at the plate. Koufax with the pitch. 2 8 strikeout off Clendenin's card. That is Koufax's seventh. We're going to put that right there for easy counting. Not one, two, three, but does the do job just the same. Two nothing ball game. We go to the bottom of the third. Blast set to take the mound for the Pirates again. He will face the heart of the Dodgers order. Ron Fairley, Jim Lefevre, and Lou Johnson. Fairley is set to go. The right fielder steps up to the plate, knocks the dirt out and clay out of his cleats. Blast is set. Gets the signs in from Pagliaroni. Here comes the pitch. Six, seven, and that is a hard ground ball hit to Mazeroski. Uh, one, 12. He fields it cleanly, gets it over to Clendenin for out number one. Mazeroski has been in, in on the last four defensive plays for the Pirates, playing well early in the game here in the field. Jim Lefevre, second baseman. One out, takes the pitch from Blass and pops it up behind the plate. Baglaroni throws off his mask, gets underneath it, and he makes the catch. That is two away. One off, so I'm not doing injuries. Uh, Lou Johnson, left fielder, comes to the plate. Singled his last time up. Steve Blass is set. Here comes the pitch. Two, three, fly ball to left field. Willie Stargell charging towards the foul line. Makes the running catch, and that is going to be one, two, three on the Dodgers in the bottom of the third. And it's 2 nothing, Los Angeles. We're going to go to the fourth. Due up for the Pirates is Clemente, Stargell, and Bob Bailey. And Sandy Koufax is set to face them. Now we put it right there. Koufax facing Roberto Clemente. Struck him out his last time up, third out of the first inning. Koufax with the pitch, 5-5, five, five. Uh, skinny split, catches it, a long fly ball, this one is back, it is going, it is out of Dodgers Stadium, Roberto Clemente, solo shot, top of the fourth, and the Pirates are in this game, they're on the board, it's 2-1, to one. and Willie Stargell strides up to the plate, the left fielder, he's been in the majors, this is his fifth season, 315 batter in 1966, 33 homers, Koufax, Pitched 323 innings, 173 ERA, 317 strikeouts. Stargell takes the pitch, 210, and that's a base hit for Stargell. Up the middle, that is no outs, one on, 2-1 two ball game. Koufax facing Bob Bailey. Bailey, 279, he struck out his last time up. Here's the pitch from Koufax, 210, pops it up on the left side. Underneath it, circling is John Kennedy. Into foul territory, back across the foul line, makes the catch. So that is going to be one out, brings up Bill Mazeroski. Struck out his last time up, as did most of the Pirates. Koufax with the pitch, 5-9, and a hard ground ball hit two seconds sharply. There is uh, Lefevre, he's able to field it. No time to get Stargell going to second, gets Mazeroski at first. Good throw to West Parker. So Stargell makes it to second. Two outs. 2-1 two ball game Dodgers. Gene Alley, the shortstop, comes up to the plate. Koufax sets and delivers. And Alley gets the free pass. Men on first and second with two away. Down a run the Pirates. Catcher Jim Paglaroni comes up to the plate. Koufax with the pitch. 3-5. Catches that single split, and that's going to move everybody up a base. Base is loaded. Two outs. Top of the fourth. And that brings up Steve Blass. He's in there. Let's see if he can get high on that one column. 
Here comes Koufax with the pitch. 4-6. Hard ground ball hit to Wills at short. 1-5. Uh, fields it cleanly. Gets it over to Parker for out number three. And the Pirates offensive prowess stagnates. Peters right out as Blast grounds out to Blast grounds out to short to end the top of the fourth. The do score a run. 2-1. Dodgers. Due up for Los Angeles, Wes Parker, Johnny Roseboro, and John Kennedy. Steve Blass is set on the mound to one game, bottom of the fourth. Parker at the plate. Here comes Blass, 2-8, and that is a strikeout. Blass is a third. Johnny Roseboro, the catcher. Blast with the pitch, 4-4, four, four, and that is a catcher's card X. Paglaroni is a 3, and that is a strikeout. He frames that breaking ball just perfectly. Paglaroni steps right into that one. Umpire goes for it. John Kennedy, two outs. Steve Blass, 4-5. Hard ground ball hit to Mazeroski. Scoops it up cleanly. Tosses it over to Clendenin for out number 3. Scoreless for the Dodgers in the bottom of the fourth. It's a 2-1 ball game. We go to the top of the fifth inning. And to the top of the order for the Pirates. Matty Alou, Don Clendenin, and Roberto Clemente. Stargell if needed. Facing Sandy Koufax. And he figures to go long into this game. Very seldom is he pulled earlier than the eighth. Very seldom does he lose. He was 27-9. For the Dodgers in 66. Matty Alou, 342 batter. He has struck out and singled. Here comes the pitch from Koufax. Two, eight, hard ground ball hit to first base. Wes Parker is able to make the play. Gets to the bag to force Alou a step ahead of the base runner. And that's one out. Don Clendenin, first baseman. Would go on to play for the Mets. Those amazing Mets in 69. Traded from the Pirates in 69. Koufax, 2-5, strikes him out. Second time he has gotten Clendenin. And the first strikeout in nine batters. Clendenin was the last one. That's eight for Koufax, two outs. Roberto Clemente. Koufax with the pitch. Fly ball to left field. Chasing it is Lou Johnson. Back to the wall, makes the catch over his shoulder. Fantastic play out there. And that is going to end the top of the fifth. Four and a half innings this game is official. So we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, due up for the Dodgers, Sandy Koufax, and back to the top for Marty Wills and Willie Davis, Steve Blass. Pitching a good game, holding the Dodgers to just two runs so far. Pirates are still in it. Steve Blass is set. Koufax at the plate. Here's the pitch. 2-6. That's a strikeout. Number five for Steve Blass. Of course, you're going to get the pitcher every once in a while. Mari Wills is set one out. Uh, one six and draws the free pass. Takes the 3 0 low and away. Trots down to first. And Mari Wills is going to try to steal with Willie Davis at the plate. Needs a 15 17. He is thrown out by Paglaroni. Uh, we'll call that a 2 4 X. Two outs. Willie Davis at the plate. Mari Wills thrown out in a rare, rare little arm thing going. Roseboro, I mean, uh, Paglaroni's really doing a game. Frames a strikeout. Throws out Wills. Willie Davis, two outs. Bottom of the fifth. Three, five. The pitch from Blast. Hard ground ball hit to Mazeroski. Mazeroski is all over it. Gets it over to Clendenin for out number three. Mazeroski playing a great defensive game as well. Um, not quite one, two, three, but three batters up, three batters down for the Dodgers. We go to the sixth, and Los Angeles leads two to one. Koufax on the hill. He'll face Stargell, Bob Bailey, and Bill Mazeroski. So Willie Stargell comes to the plate, number eight. He's got that strange swing from the right side of the plate where he cocks his arm and whips the bat forward. You can see him hopping up and down in anticipation. He singled twice. Koufax with the pitch. It's going to be a 4-8 and a hard ground ball hit to second base. 
the fever is a three with a 12 and uh, he uh, scoops it up he gets it over to West Parker for out number one so Stargell is retired Bob Bailey future Boston Red Sox star our Red Sox fan really loves this guy Sandy Koufax with the pitch. Five, six, strikes him out. Second time he has gotten Bailey in this game. Koufax is ninth. And Bill Mazeroski comes to the plate. You Yankees fans know that name. <laughs> Here we go. Sandy Koufax, 2-10. Pops it up on the left side to the middle of the field. Uh, calling off the fever as Mari Wills gets underneath it and makes the catch. The shortstop does. Out number three. One, two, three go the Pirates for the last two innings. Two to one. Sandy Koufax is holding off the Bucks here in Dodger Stadium. Steve Blass now for the bottom of the sixth coming in for Pittsburgh. Blass pitching a good game. He's hanging in there. He'll face the heart of the Dodgers order fairly. Lefevre and Johnson. Ron Fairley is set to take Blass's pitch. 6-9 fly ball to center field. Matty Alou camps out underneath it, smacks his mitt, sticks his glove up, and lets gravity do the rest. That is out number one. Jim Lefevre now, second baseman. At the plate, Blass with the pitch. 2-10. Hard ground ball hit back to the box. Blass knocks it down, picks it up, gets it over to Clendenin, and beats Lefevre there by a couple of steps for out number two. Lou Johnson now to the plate. 3-9, and that's going to be a slap shot into left center. Johnson with a base hit to extend the inning, his second hit of the game. Wes Parker comes to the plate. Steve Blass looking over to first, trying to keep Johnson honest. Not much of a threat to steal. Here's the pitch to Wes Parker. 4-6, skinny split for a single, missed it. Hard liner to the left, and Bailey... Hit right to Bailey. Not the fastest fielder out there, but he was in the right place at the right time to save the base hit into left field. So that is going to be out number three. Dodgers score no runs in the bottom of the sixth. 2 1 ball game. Your tabletop sports Delaware triple check. Clemente Homer and Mari Wills and Willie Davis. 2 to 1. All right. I like doing that, so that way we are situationally aware. Sandy Koufax. On the mound, he'll face the bottom of the Pirates lineup. Gene Alley, Jim Paglaroni, and Steve Blass, should he be called upon to hit. <clears throat> Alrighty, Alley is set to take Koufax's pitch. Four, ten hard ground ball hit to Kennedy at third. He fields it cleanly, gets it over to Parker for out number one. Takes us to Jim Paglaroni, the catcher. Blasts backstop for the game. Koufax with the pitch. 5-5, five, five. skinny split home run, missed a fly ball to right field. Clemente tracking near the foul line, settles underneath it. Makes the catch. Not Clemente. Ron Fairley. I never call the wrong player. Out number two. Blass is coming in. He's going to stay in the game. So Blass is going to bat with two outs. 4-4 uh, four, four, the pitch from Koufax. It is a fly ball to center field. Willie Davis gets underneath it. 2-16. Smacks his mitt and makes the catch. So that is going to be out number three. No runs scored. 2-1 ball game. Dodgers, we go to the bottom of the seventh at the old ball game. Steve Blass on the hill, still in charge for the Pirates. He'll be facing the bottom of the Dodgers order, Johnny Rosebro, John Kennedy, and Sandy Koufax, and I'm sure Koufax is going to be batting because Dodgers don't have any plans to take him out of the game. Rosebro takes the pitch from Blass, 3-3, three, three, strikes him out. Uh, Blass's sixth strikeout of the occasion. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's keep track of that as well. Not too shabby. John Kennedy, hot corner man, eighth in the order, facing Steve Blass. Bottom of the seventh. One away, one run game. Three, five. Misses a single split hard liner on the left side, and Bailey is there. 
Makes another fantastic catch. Had to move a couple of steps for that one. Thankfully, not much more. Koufax comes in with two outs at the plate. Blass facing his rival. 5-5, five, five, and Koufax singles into right. Extends the inning with a base hit. Mari Wills comes up to the plate. Dodgers up by one. Bottom of the seventh. Two outs. Wills takes Blass's pitch. 5-3 and strikes him out. That is number seven for Steve Blass. And we are going to go to the eighth inning. Still a 2-1 ball game. Sandy Koufax. Large and in charge on the hill for the for them bums. He'll fade, go to the top of the order for the Pirates facing Matty Alou, Don Clendenin, and Roberto Clemente. Here's Matty Alou. The windup in the pitch from Koufax. 2-9 fly ball to right field. Back goes Ron Fairley. Not too far. A couple of steps. Puts his glove up. Takes another couple steps forward. Makes the catch. So that's one out here in the top of the eighth. Don Clendenin. Facing Koufax. The wind up the pitch. One. Eight. It's a long fly ball. It is back. Clendenin hits it towards left. Chased by Lou Johnson. Out of here. Home run. Tie ball game. 2-2. Two -two, Pirates and Dodgers. Koufax gets tagged. You can strike out nine, but if you give up two runs, you got to score more than that for the win. Roberto Clemente, who is homered in this game, facing Sandy Koufax. Tie ball game. This game is tied like a new pair of shoes on a wet, rainy day. Koufax with the pitch. 6-6 six, six, and uh, catches that single split. So Clemente is on first with one out and brings Willie Stargell to the plate. Stargell really looking to get this going. He's singled twice and grounded to second so far in this game. Koufax with the pitch. Wants to get out of the inning. 1-9. Misses the split, but it is a double to the gap in right. Uh, one out, Clemente, a 15 runner. They're going to send him, and he's going to be gunned down at the plate. So we have two outs, Willie Stargell on second, tie ball game. Pirates tried to go for it, but uh, Ron Fairley was not going to have any of it. Here we go, Bob Bailey, third baseman, would love to give Stargell a round. He is in scoring position. Koufax wants desperately to get out of this inning. 6-7 uh, and issues the free pass to Bob Bailey. So men at first and second with two outs. 2-2 two -two ball game, top of the eighth. Bill Mazeroski comes to the plate. Koufax digs in deep. Here is the pitch. Hard ground ball hit to Mari Wills. Wills fires it over to Wes Parker for out number three. Pirates do score a run and get back in this game. It is a 2-2 ball game. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Steve Blass coming back out for Pittsburgh. And he will be facing the heart of the Dodgers order in Willie Davis, Ron Fairley, and Jim LaFever. Willie Davis is set. Steve Blass gets a sign from Paglarini, Paglaroni. The wind up the pitch. 2-8 hard ground ball hit to... to uh, First base, uh, Clint Denon able to scoop that up and get it to first unassisted ahead of Clint, uh, Willie Davis. So that is one away. Ron Fairley comes to the plate. Steve Blass set. Here comes the pitch to Fairley. 5-10. Catches that double split. And Fairley is on second with one out here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And that brings us Jim Lefevre. 24 homers in 1966. 274 average. Steve Blass... With Lou Johnson behind him. Ah, Blass is going to walk the fever. Pray for a ground ball. Lou Johnson comes up to the plate. Blass is set. Infield is in deep double play formation. Fly ball to center field. This one is back. Being fielded by Matty Alou. Not too deep. Makes the catch fairly Starts for third, but thinks better of it as a lose throw comes into Bob Bailey. So that is two away. Runners do not advance. Wes Parker comes to the plate.
Steve Blass with the pitch. Four, six. Misses a skinny single split hard liner to Bailey. And Bob Bailey gets his glove on it again. Third fantastic play. The Pirates exhibiting some wonderful defensive skills in this game to keep themselves in it. No runs for the Dodgers in the bottom of the eighth. That's going to take us to the ninth. And both teams have the bottom of their orders coming up in this inning. And it looks like both teams are going to stick with their starters. Sandy Koufax, at the very least, is coming out. But Steve Blass may get pinch hit for. We are in the ninth. It's a tie ball game. Gene Alley comes up to the plate. No slouch at the plate. He, 299 hitter and 66. Koufax is set. Gets the signs from Roseboro. 3-4, and that's a base hit for Gene Alley. He is on. Jim Paglaroni, 235 batter. He is going to lay down the bunt. That is an eight, and it is down the first base line, fielded by Parker. He gets it to Lefevre, covering. Alley advances to second. And the Pirates are indeed going to pinch hit for Steve Blass. And they are going to bring in Manny Moda. Moda, pinch hit, 15C, 332 batter, off plays replacement in the outfield, let's see how he does here against Koufax, Koufax, one out, man on second, Matty Alou is due up after him, and Matty Alou, 342, nope, face Moda, hope for the best. Here comes the pitch. 3-5 fly ball to center field. In comes Willie Davis. Makes the catch on the run. And Gene Alley barely takes a step off a second. So that is going to be two outs. Man in scoring position. Matty Alou at the plate. 342 batter and 66. He has struck out, singled, grounded to third, and flown to right. Sandy Koufax is set to go. Two outs, top of the ninth, no runs scored. Tie ball game at two, three, four. And that is a shot into right field in the corner. Gene Alley comes around third. Alou rounds first, headed for second, being chased down by Ron Fairley. Gene Alley scores. Matty Alou rounding second. Fairley's throw coming into the infield, being cut off by Mari Wills as Matty Alou with a triple scores the run, and the Pirates take a lead. Of 3-2 to two here in the top of the ninth. Pittsburgh Pirates coming back in the late innings. Tagging Sandy Koufax. This is the fifth time through the lineup. Koufax may be getting a little tired. One out. He's going to face Clint Denon. Yes. And they bring the infield in. Here's the pitch. Clint Denon. 5-5. Five, five, misses that homer. Split fly ball to right field. Back goes Ron Fairley. Makes the catch. It's deep enough. Matty Alou tags up, and that's going to score another run. 4-2 Pirates with two outs here in the top of the ninth, and Pittsburgh takes a late lead. Roberto Clemente facing Sandy Koufax. Base is empty. Koufax just wanting to get through this one. Hard ground ball hit to Wills at short. And it's a 115. Scoops it up, gets it over to Parker for out number three. But the damage has been done by the Pirates, and now the Dodgers need to navigate through the bottom of their order. Two runs scored by Pittsburgh. 4 2 lead going into the bottom of the ninth, and Blass is going to be replaced on the mound. Who is Pittsburgh going to bring in? To screw this up. Don't look at the Dodgers. You can't have Dodgers pitchers. That's, I think I saw Roy Face in here somewhere. Roy Face is going to come in, pitch the ninth. Hopefully take this one home for the Pirates. Face. Uh, blast went eight. Uh, Moda is no longer going to bat. Roy Face facing Johnny Roseboro, John Kennedy, and in all likelihood, a pinch hitter for Sandy Koufax. Let's see what we've got here. Roseboro set to face face. 
Here comes the pitch. Five, five. It's a long fly ball. Roseboro connects. Home run off Roy Face. 4-3 ball game. That is going to bring John Kennedy to the plate. No outs. Nobody on. 4-3. Bottom of the ninth. Dodgers. Kennedy takes Face's pitch. 5-4. Skinny split, fly ball, long hit by John Kennedy. That one is out of here. Back-to-back -back jacks for the Dodgers. We have a tie ball game. And indeed, they are going to pinch hit for Sandy Koufax. 4-4, four, four, bottom of the ninth. Let's not let Pittsburgh get too comfortable. I think Tommy Davis is not going to. Who's going to? Who is going to? Uh, it's going to be Dick Stewart. Yeah, it's going to be Dick Stewart. Former Pirate. Played for the Pirates in 1960 when they beat the Yankees in the World Series. So Stewart is going to come in and pinch hit for Sandy Koufax. 8-E... Uh, Roy Face, no outs, has given up two home runs here in the bottom of the ninth. Dick Stewart, and that is a one, but it is a hard ground ball hit to shortstop. Fielded by Gene Alley, gets it over to Clendenin for out number one. Back to the top of the order, Mari Wills comes up to face. Face. Here's the pitch, 4-9. Hard ground ball hit to Mazeroski, scoops it up, gets it over to Clendenin for out number two. And uh, we are one out away from extra innings. Willie Davis, 284 hitter, 11 homers and 624 bats and 66 for the Dodgers. Face, 270 ERA, struck out 67 in seven innings. Here's the pitch. 3-7 pops it up to the middle of the field. Mazeroski calls off Alley and Face, makes the catch. And ladies and gentlemen, we have free baseball. We're going to go to the top of the 10th inning. Al Red Sox fan is thinking about me somewhere. <laughs> Hi, Al. How's it going? Uh, not going to be Koufax. Let's see who is going to come in for the beleaguered at long last. Sandy Koufax. Um, Muller. Now we're going to see Phil Regan come in. 162. Out of the bullpen. Not too shabby. Phil Regan comes in. Koufax went nine. No decision. Same for Blast, for that matter. Uh, Regan in the top of the tenth is going to face Stargell, Bailey, and Mazeroski. Willie Stargell with that wacky little swing on the right side of the plate. Regan is set. Gets the signs from Roseboro. Here's the pitch. 6-6. Six, six. Stargell pops it up on the right side. Wes Parker settles underneath it. Makes the catch. That's one away. Bob Bailey, third baseman. Facing Phil Regan. Here is the windup. The pitch. Six, eight. Pops it up on the left side. And John Kennedy gets underneath that one. Regan getting these guys to swing low. Two away. Bill Mazeroski comes up to the plate. <laughs> Bill Mazeroski. Bottom of the 10th uh, inning, two outs. Six, nine, fly ball to center field. This one is back. It is deep being chased by Willie Davis. Makes the catch at the wall. Mazeroski, it looked like he might be getting ready to pop one, but it was not to be. We're going to go to the bottom of the 10th. And the Dodgers are going to be sending Fairley, Lefevre, and Johnson to the plate. To face a hopefully settled down Roy Face. Uh, I never did that either. New pitcher there. Alrighty. Here we go. 2-2. Two, 4-4 two, four, four, rather. 4-4 four, four ball game. Once again, tied up just like a new pair of shoes on a rainy day. Ron Fairley to face Roy Face. For 10, hard ground ball hit to shortstop. Alley is able to field that cleanly. Gets it over to Clendenin for out number one. Jim Lefevre 
second baseman. Here's the pitch from Roy. Face 4-3. Hard ground ball hit to Alley once again. And he's able to scoop it up. Gets it over to Clendenin. And lather, rinse, repeat. Two away here in the bottom of the 10th. Lou Johnson comes up to the plate. He's singled twice. Flown to left and center. Roy Face would like to get out of this inning. 6-9. Issues the free pass. Third trip to first for Lou Johnson. But he has gone no further thus far in the game. Wes Parker comes up to the plate. Struck out twice. Hard liner to third twice. Face with the pitch. 5-10. Catcher's card X. That's going to be Paglaruni with a 3 and a 1. And he frames Face's pitch perfectly. The 2-2 two -two goes in for strike 3. And we are going to go to the 11th inning. -da 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 -da. No runs scored. Phil Regan coming back out for the Dodgers. He will face the bottom of the Pirates lineup. Gene Alley, Jim Paglaroni, and possibly a pinch hitter for Roy Face. We shall see Alley. Five, six, strikeout. Jim Paglaroni now, one out, top of the 11th. Uh, one, ten, draws a walk. I think Face is going to stay in the game. It's not Manny Mota, it's Face, but Face is going to be bunting. He's going to lay it down, try to get Paglaroni around a second three, and it is down the third base line. In charging is Kennedy. Kennedy low throws it from the ground, and it just not able to get there in time. Face beats out the bunt. Paglaroni gets to second. And that's going to bring up Matty Alou with men at first and second. One out, Phil Regan. Here's the pitch to Alou. Two, 11 hard ground ball hit to second. Fielded there by Lefevre. Tosses it over to Wills on the run. Fires to Parker for the double play, and that'll end the inning. 4-6-3 for those of you who are scoring at home. And if you're not scoring at home, you should be. No runs for the Pirates in the top of the 11th. We go to the bottom of the inning, and that's going to bring up the bottom of the Dodgers order to face Roy Face. Johnny Roseboro, John Kennedy, perhaps a pinch hitter for Phil Regan. Just depends on whether I feel like doing the paperwork, I suppose. Johnny Roseboro, catcher. Face, here we go. He homered his last time up. Can he repeat and pull out the game? Fly ball deep to right field. This one is going back is Clemente. Catches it off the wall. That one was off the bat like a shot. Not to be. John Kennedy comes up. He homered his last time up. Face with the pitch. 4-7. And he's swinging at the knee cheese. Out number two. And I do believe that Regan is going to get pinch hit for. So let's see who's going to come in and bat for Regan. Oh, we're taking that ERA off the mound, though. With two outs now, Regan's going to stay in it. So we'll use Stewart's card as a placeholder. Regan is a number one pitcher. Let's put the number one pitcher card in there. Let's do this right. All righty. Jim Regan is going to stay. Phil Regan is going to stay. They like that ERA on the mound. 5-5. Uh, five, five. It's a long fly ball back. Being chased by Stargell. It is going, going, gone. Phil Regan, relief pitcher with the homer. Two outs. Bottom of the ninth. 5-4 ball game. The Dodges win. Holy crap and holy. Did not see that one coming. Ha <laughs> ha Man. Ain't this game grand, guys? Holy wow, the Dodgers pull that one out in the bottom of the 11th. 5-4, your final score. Goodness, I have seen enough to know that I have seen too much. <laughs> wow, your final score. Los Angeles Dodgers, 5-4 over the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, some notables, Clendenin. One for four with a homer and two RBI with a sack fly. Struck out twice. Clemente with a homer and a single. Two for five. Um, Stargell, three for five with a double. Um, Steve Blast did really well. Gave up only one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven base hits and two runs and eight innings of work. Fantastic outing by Steve Blass. Uh, but Koufax, nine innings, gave up one, two, three, four, five, five hits and one run in the first seven innings of work. Gave up three hits and a run in the eighth. Gave up two hits and two runs in the ninth. But he did strike out uh, nine batters. Um, offensively, three home runs in the late innings, the ninth and the eleventh, by the bottom of the order. Roseboro, Kennedy, and relief pitcher Phil Reagan. Your final score here from Dodger Stadium, 1966 Los Angeles Dodgers 5. 1966 Pittsburgh Pirates 4. Guys, this has been Chris, Tabletop Sports Delaware. Um, thank you very much for watching, for sharing part of your day with me, and I really hope you enjoyed the game. And I got the bug, so there's going to be some games coming on for a little while, so we'll just see where this little party goes. I've been away from the channel for a bit, but for the moment, I'm back, and I'm loving it. Guys, this is Chris. Thank you very much, and keep on rolling.